trophies. I think Dylan is impressed, aren't you, Dylan? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have my own place. You think a little bit hungry? Right, so this morning we're down at Koi Water Barn. I say we, me and Dylan and I. So um, I thought we'll catch up with Mr. Keith. So good morning, Keith. Hello, Chet. How are you? Good. I haven't been down to Koi Water Barn. Play. Well, the first time here, but last time I was with you would have been four or five, four or five years, years ago. Years ago yeah. So I came to check out your new place, and it's impressive. I must say, it's impressive. You've done very well. I saw pictures of it being built, but haven't been in here. It's quite. You could spend a lot of time chilling here. Yeah, and yeah, enjoying. he's very. Um, yeah. And your display, this display pond is good. So, tell us a little bit about what you've been up to and Koi Water Barn and everything okay, you want to tell well, us. As you'll see throughout the course of the video, we, we've created this wonderful shop at Coolings. Um, we've been here now for coming up to two years. Uh, been a bit strange this year, as I'm sure it has for everybody. So, um, some of the things we have planned haven't happened just because of what, what's going on. But um, yeah, we've, um, you see we've got our main pond here. We've had a lot of fish coming Lake May, um, Sakai yeah. Nisai, side. And we've got more Sakai in our quarantine area, which you'll, you'll see okay. later on the video. Um, we've had lots of uh, smaller stuff from Isa, Kano, yeah. and again, we'll, we'll look at the, um, the more detail later on. I was surprised that uh, to see the, the volume of coal you got. Uh, is a lot of them sold waiting for collection? Um, or there's a lot available still? Not a lot of still available. They are right. going. Um, they think it's been really good the past They're couple huge. of weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. No, unfortunately for us, we got these in in lockdown. So right. these so didn't come when, in till yeah. May. Yeah. So just as we were coming out of lockdown, yeah. these were just coming out of quarantine. So yeah. in hindsight, a lot of people haven't really seen them yet. Yes. So hopefully this video will give some exposure yeah. to people. But, uh, it's probably about 15 in there sold, so okay. there's still a, a, a good number available. Yeah. Again, you can see we have more, more on our other, other site in, uh, in a minute. And the body shapes, Keith, I'm looking at these fish now, and they they have body shapes, a lot of them have body shapes that get massive. Mm. I can just tell just looking at them, and uh, they're not belly fish, no. you know, in that way, you can see that. So no. show us around the area. Okay, right? so this is our main display room. Mm -hmm. um, see later we've got the main pond here which is just over five and a half thousand gallons yeah. we have two smaller ponds up there yeah, which are about 1600 yeah. gallons all of this area here is all filtered by our drum system okay. um, all on EGC so we can all be monitored remotely yes if we okay. move this way yeah we'll um, go this way I'll follow you follow me this is our main shop area for yeah. sort of the general client really busy at the weekends generally. Right. Uh, we have something for everybody in here, sort of 9.95 up to 200, 300 pounds. Yeah. Um, yeah, very busy at the weekends. Yeah. So all this you built and put in yourself? Yeah, yeah basically. Was it was an empty shell? This was a completely empty derelict farm. Wow. Nothing here at all. So we installed gas, electric, uh, all the utilities, yeah. everything is, is brand new. Right. Uh, Big ponds, the main display ponds, yeah. they were all block built fiberglass. Yeah. Then everything else, um, two reasons, just to keep the cost down and also gave us flexibility later if we wanted to change things around, are all just pre standing tanks. Right, yes. yeah, yeah. high ponds off of these ponds. Yeah. Um, so, but these are all custom built to maximise the space, but you'll see yes. in a minute we've got quite a lot of these going around yeah. and uh, it, it allowed us to speed things up because it's literally. Really. Yeah. Well, you've got. I think you've got everything here for the modern koi keeper. You even got Andy Baker here. Go on, Andy. Say hello to everybody. Morning, guys. And this is your nephew. Your What's nephew. your name again? Nice to meet you, Dan. Dan. Yes. Oh, Dan, the man who spends buying lots of fish. <laughs> Bad influence. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of people, uh, Andy, m will know you, but there'll be a lot of koi keepers, the young ones like Dylan's and. Well, that, yeah, that, Dan, yeah. that will not know you. So tell everybody a little bit about, I mean, there's a lot we could talk about, Andy, can't we, Keith? There's a lot. <laughs> well, why don't you tell everybody how long you've been keeping koi, what got you into koi and stuff like that? Um, I've been keeping koi 20 years now. Wow. Um, I started keeping koi um, only because a friend of mine bought a brand new home. I went round to visit his home massive big koi pond in the garden and I just literally said I need one of these. Yeah. Um, like a lot of koi keepers, um, I've been a fisherman kind of most of my life, 
Yeah. Um, and that's it. We we built a what I thought was a monster pond back in the day, 4,400 gallons, um, which within a few years um, wasn't big enough. Only because I started showing for it, and then it kind of it gets older. Yeah, if you've got a competitive kind of spirit, then Which we all do. <laughs> yeah, and then then this will be kind of. Yeah, can carry on. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of a lot of the people wouldn't know this, but you've uh, won over the years. How many grand champions have you won over the years, from when you started showing to now? Um, five, I think. Five. Yeah. Oh. Um, I know you've took a lot of like adult and mature and oh, yeah, yeah, things yeah. Under Supremes. There. Yeah. Uh, kind of. I think every every um, every championship level, apart from baby champ. Oh, uh, you've never took baby champ. And I used to spend a lot of money trying to chase baby champ. Right. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, that's... that's that, that dream's gone. That's for other guys, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, showing fish is, is, is my absolute passion. The show scene in the UK, yeah. fantastic. Very, very friendly. Um, loads of really good friends made through the hobby, which, yeah. is, which is great, you know. If you're a foot keeper, there's a fair chance you're going to be a nice guy. Um, yeah. It's a very rewarding hobby. Um, just don't tell the wife how much you pay for your koi. <laughs> and all inclusive, you have Rasta koi people there as well. Well, yeah. you are a Rasta koi man yourself. Yeah. Uh, apparently so. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, and then also, you remember our trip in 2015 to Japan? Yeah, we had a great time. We had a great time together. That was my first time in Japan, but I believe that was your second time before. Uh, third time. Third time yeah. to Japan. Um, and that is a must. If, if you're, if, you know, if you want to take your koi experience kind of beyond the realms of the UK for argument's yeah. sake or you you get the passion um, and yeah traveling to to Japan it is a must I've been fortunate my first ever trip was with the bar um, right. 207 absolutely cracking time um, I then went with select and, and of course with mine yeah um, so so yeah I, I and I intend to go again so tell, hopefully. hopefully, well I was meant to be there leaving in the next couple of weeks, but that's not happening. So tell everybody about your current setup now. You talked about the old pond back in the day, 4,000. Yeah. Um, current setup is uh, 10,000 gallons um, with um, a large drum, 65E I believe they are drum, a um, couple of showers, a large bead filter. I am. I've succumbed. I am going to go on the RO route. Oh um, no! <laughs> and, as, as supplied by Andy Finch, good man that he is. Yes, we um, all like Andy. And, and funny enough, I fitted a, a flow friend yesterday, and I intend to fit the other one this week. So, yeah, it, 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 it's always revolving. You, you think you get there. I don't need to spend another penny on this hobby. I don't need another fish. I don't need another piece of equipment. Yes. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Three weeks later, you bought four koi and spent three grand in your bill. Mm. Um, but you know that, that's that's cool, isn't it? It's uh, well, it is. Yeah, it, it's a fantastic hobby which which we all enjoy. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of new people joining the hobby now, Andy. You'll probably be aware. With lockdown, everybody's digging ponds and watching videos and yeah, you've only got a, you've only got to speak to your to, to your friends in the trade. Everyone. If someone's selling a bottom drain, someone somewhere is digging a pond, aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of equipment being sold, which is which is great. You know, the hobby it, it needs regeneration. It needs new people coming in. You need some young guys too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. and and, and then they're, they're 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 most welcome, aren't they? Yes. Um, it's a I suppose a duty of us older koi people. <laughs> some of us are older than others. Um, yeah, to you know, to share our knowledge, to share our experiences. You know why? You know, we've all done a, a lot of money, you know, over the time, mistakes, sometimes silly mistakes. Um, so, you know, the, the joy of, of Facebook and places like this is that people can ask, can't they? Yeah. You know, what do you do? How do you do it? Blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, some people might see it as old. Um, that fellow's a big-headed so-and-so and he don't stop talking, but other people might see it in the, in the way it should be seen, is that, you know what, you know, we're here to help, you know, enjoy the opera. Don't, so, um, yeah, don't make the mistakes I make. You know? yeah. um, so but, we're down for the day to enjoy, I mean, we can't have a koi show this weekend, I guess it was this weekend, 
was meant to do the Corey um, show. Do, do you know what you've got I think it was. Well, last weekend, wasn't it? Last weekend. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. 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 So, so we're down for the day just to go to the Corey, hanging out me and Dylan with yourself and your nephew, and keep kindly open up. So we'll have a look at a few fish and we'll get your expert uh, opinions on these and then just have okay. a bit of fun. Yeah, it's, exactly, that's what yeah. the, it's a hobby, it's for fun, yeah, right? I'm here to pick up a couple of sankies, we can yeah. have a look at them later on. Um, and yeah, you know, yeah, let's enjoy uh, the morning. Yeah. And, but I think you would agree with me, there's a lot of fish here for hobbyists to come and see. I mean, these fish, you, these it's, fish. Um, if you're, if you're, well, whatever level hobbyist, yeah. you can have little Tommy with his 500 gallons in yeah. the garden, you can see guys like you, but, yeah, spend a lot of money and, 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 and come down and enjoy yourself. <laughs> All right, so we're going to catch up with Keith and then we're going to look at a few fish. All right, cool. Okay, cool. So then you've got some meds, medicines and other bits down here yeah, for treatments. Uh, what we do pride ourselves on as well is it's uh, not local, but um, anybody really. We have a yeah. vast array of fittings. Uh, for Bottom drains, a lot of people building. Yeah, bottom drains, skimmers, rounds, rubbers hose fittings whatever so if you pressure waste so if you are in the yeah. building something we we try and normally have a pretty much Everything. standard and, and more unusual fittings in stock yeah. of which okay. we can dispatch to you normally in a day yeah well i tell you what it's it's, so, it's worth the journey i mean dylan and i set off last night we're stuck in an m1 yeah. <laughs> for an hour car turned over we sat in an hour watching a car being moved then we came down last night stayed in the hotel and uh, you know the hobby does cost because you got to put all those things in. But I tell you, it's a joy seeing this and seeing your oh, setup. You. It's really nice, clean, well put together. You know, and uh, thank you for welcoming no, us. So we'll have a look at the quarantine section in a minute. And uh, okay, and, like, it, and it is worth a day. Um, yes, because um, we are located in a, a lovely garden centre called Coolings. Yeah, um, we've got a lovely restaurant, cafe. So. Uh, you can make a day of it. It is. It's massive. I mean, I thought it was like, as you know, <laughs> you heard me talk about the other garden centre, but this is a fantastic one. So if the missus or Mister want to go wander off, look at plants, and you want to look yeah, at fish, you it's lose ideal. Yourself for two or three hours yeah. easily, yeah? yeah, yeah, and then back to here. Yeah, cool. So this is their quarantine area for koi water ban, where they keep all their stocks. So this place is. Keith, this place is, it just blew my mind how big it is. I yeah, mean, that, you were just saying that this was going to be a main shop. It looks like it's for the main shop, but yeah. um, I, I prefer the area down there. And I yeah. think, having seen it, that does have a certain Yeah, it, it is. You know what? I can hang out there all day. It has yeah. a vibe about it. And people like hanging out here. People yeah. say that they sort of farming, yeah. sort of Japanese. Yeah, it, it does remind me of Japan, the, yeah. the whole thing. But I was looking at the core you got here. You got some Momentaro, yes. Tosai, now Nisai, but... Um, uh, a lot of these are unsexed and there's certificate. These are all out of um, quarantine, you said, Keith? Yeah, so basically everything in here came in last week of May, first yeah. week of June. Yeah. Um, so we quarantined for 28 days. So everything comes in at the top of the site, comes right. in here. Um, this is off, off limits, uh, white right. fixing quarantine. Um, we don't heat ramp. Um, mm. We basically just put the fish in, good water, let them rest. Um, we run work on, uh, we'll take scrapes, no netting, um, then after 28 days if the fish are good and can seem okay mm. and we have space in the shop, they'll go to the shop. This year, because it's been a weird year, um, the shop, as you saw, is pretty yeah. fish heavy still. So what I'm allowing, allowing um, some people to do now is make an appointment, uh, come up and I'll do private viewings up here yeah. now. Um, everything's out of quarantine, so if you see anything, it can go. Yeah. Um, all the ponds are, are priced, so as you said, we have Momentaro. Yeah, Momentaro, yeah. Uh, here we have some fish from Beppu. Uh, these mm. are actually sapphire, sapphire male Nisai. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Beppu has grown them. Okay. So sapphire at Beppu. Yeah. This is empty. That's they, empty. They, okay. We had space and they moved to the yeah. shop. Some Momentaro again. Okay. Less quality than them, but still some really cracking fire. Uh, uh, 400 price. quid, yeah. Yeah. What's these ones? This one, this is a, a, a customer who got carried away over lockdown. Um, they um, haven't built their pond yet, but they've <laughs> fixed to fill it up. So this is their, this is their pond this for the is time. Their pond until they get done. <laughs> Great pond, this, if you've got a morning to kill. Come up, grab a bacon sandwich and a coffee. Little Momotaro, yeah. 180 in here. 
superb quality. Um, it's a real stunner, but it's a sit down with a nap, quite happy to leave yeah. up there. Oh, scoop, oh, scoop them out and, uh, and have I'm a play. 195 or yeah. six for a thousand. Well, you know, I was just saying to you, Keith, the, and you, this would affect you and all of us, is the age groups of Koya getting further and further into our age group and beyond. Yeah. And we need people like Dylan and uh, Dan as well. Yeah, most definitely. Great. So younger 20, ones. 25. And this would be great for them to yeah, start absolutely. off the hobby. And, and I've got 25% off at the moment as well until the yeah. end of the year. So you're getting some really high quality fish. Five, six, you should get one or two really good ones. Oh, you yeah, learn absolutely. about the development and... Yeah. And, yeah, and a lot of time the best teacher are the koi, not the people. Yeah, no, exactly. he, and, and we've found that here, having yeah. fish for longer, it's been yeah. interesting to see how, how some have gone really well. Some haven't, yeah. but it, it's a, a good learning experience. Yeah. Okay. Um, Issa Shah, really pretty, probably my favourite pond up there. Oh, we'll have a look a few really then. Nice. Yeah. Soul pond, fish there waiting for collection. Okay. These are sakai females. Trust I need to be by the sakai females. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> females or one sex? No, female. Females. Sports females, all certificated. These have been here quite a while now, so mm. they're going into, actually going into the sand side now. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, okay. In this tank? Yeah. And these are Nisai coming into the sand side or Tosai coming into no, the sand side? No, Nisai going into the sand side. Nisai going into the sand side. Yeah, these came in literally because Tosai in May 2019. Be worth having a look in there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some nice things in there. There's some great stuff there, isn't it? Um, now, two ponds of soup stars. These will be in the shop by the end of this week because we've got some fish going out. Sakai, um, Sansai, Sansai, superb quality. Sansai going into Yonsai or Sansai now? Uh, they'll be they were purchased as Sansai in October, so they'll be going into Yonsai. And these are females? All guaranteed females. All guaranteed females. And gorgeous. I never understand, Andy, guaranteed females, what does that mean? Is it turn on mail you get your money back? I really don't know. I suppose that's a deal you'd have to... Um, but sort but, but you would look after choice. people, wouldn't you? Yeah, um, I'm... These we bought as guaranteed females, so yeah. I'm happy to say these guaranteed females. Yeah. If you're buying like what the yeast is, which is stunning, I personally would not search as guaranteed female. Guaranteed. I'll search as male if I can get it to produce milk. Our um, sensor is upset. Right, okay. But I'm quite fair. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think Andy would agree with that. Um, would you agree with that? What, Keith being fair? He's all right. <laughs> Got nice fish in here as well. They're gorgeous in here. Yeah. 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 These are, there's a couple in here. Right, Keith, we look like, look like my koi heart is pumping, so I think we'll need to get a bowl and have yeah, a look. Yeah, no, we can do. And then the last pond. People should not dismiss males. I had um, a couple up at the weekend who spent all morning here. There are some stunning male sapphires in here. Absolutely oh, skinny. Awesome. And the price is reflected because they're male. What sort of prices are the males in here? It's 7 dollars 5 I've got 25% off. Yeah. I think very pleased with them. <laughs> very good. Okay, so we're going to look at a few males, Keith. Yeah. And yes, this is the males right. that uh, young Dan has been looking at. So, do you know which one it is, Dan? That you? I quite like the Tancho. This one here. Yeah. This one in front of me. Yeah. These are guaranteed males. Guaranteed if, the, if it's a female, then you win. You're a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But it must be said. I have purchased a male in the barn before, which has done very well as a female. Yes, I've had that fortunate um, occurrence too as well. You've also purchased a female in the barn very well as a male. <laughs> You're on Rasta Koi Dan, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Also, as long as Dan's looking at that. Well, it's a nice tancho, but it's not nice enough for you. And I don't know why you're going to say why. Mm -hmm. well, why am I saying why then? Are you going to say why? 
am I going to say one? Oh, gladly, yeah, and, I, and I'm sure Keith will agree with me. It just, and, and this is when we've been kind of, it could, it could, could be argued we've been finicky, but you see the spot is sort of creeping well onto the scales. Um, a, a good tan show needs to be within the frame of the head. And do you know what? I, I don't even think that's, that's male. That looks female to me. Um, look at the body structure of this fish. It, it's, it's great. Um, and it, you know, it will sell, and it will sell very well. Um, but if you was taking it from a show scene, you might say, I just need to be... Uh, yeah. But then, you know what, you're not in the show scene, and that's, and that's a lovely koi. For the, um, for the money and the and Oh, the smell. exactly so. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at the frame of this fish. Yeah. I actually don't think that's, that's male, funny enough. Um, you, you'd be happy with it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Quality is fantastic. It's got a nice big mouth, nice long body. Yeah. Um, there you go, there's another one. I know you've got your list, but I'll put a couple in for what I like. I think so these are Keith's choice? My choice. Yeah, that's not on my list. <laughs> nice keyword on there. The keyword is one nice. on my list, Keith. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I like how nice and deep the red is. Mm. Well, you tend to get that with the males anyway, but uh, if you're looking at the refinement, the keyword looks decent, Andy. Not wrong with that, is it? Yeah. The nice, sashi is, nice, straightforward fish, there. Yeah, the sashi, you might argue a little bit deep in the front, but if it's on the front, that could thicken up. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's it's a, a young, young, it's a young, young small fish. fish. Yeah. I mean, unless the sashi was, you know, terrible, no, then you'd, you'd kind though. of want to take a forgiving nature, wouldn't you? Um, that's a great fish. So me being me, if I, if I was buying one of these two fish, I would lean towards the, yeah, that's Can't what I would. Go on, go on, Keith, there must be some, that, that was a couple more we can put in here. Number one. Oh, your number one choice. He's number one. Yeah, there you go. So, that's good fish. Yeah, no, I like it, yeah. You know what you're getting. There you go, tip this bowl. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go with that one. No. Okay. Number two. Number two. He came Sorry, with a short Tell us that again. It's a three step. Number three is also a three step. Right. Have you showed yet? You haven't showed yet, have you? No. Is your intention to show one day? Yes, definitely. Having an, an, an uncle like Andy, you've got to show. You've got to follow in your uncle's footsteps. He's a positive. Yeah. yeah. Positive. Baby chat. <laughs> I, prefer this. I can see why you never won baby champ. <laughs> yeah. That's a straightforward three step, isn't it? You can't really go wrong. Mm. And another another of my likes. So you said, Keith, that people could come down pretty much this week and have a look at these. these yeah, absolutely, are all... I'm here all week. Um, yeah. we, we reduced our opening hours, we're actually in 10 till 4. Yeah. So a lot of people meet me here after 8 9. Yeah, yeah. We've got an hour before we open them. Oh, okay. I can go for everything, but I have to leave you up here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, got a couple of weeks notice. I'm happy to make paper on a Sunday or Monday, yeah, yeah. but it's not always possible as it was for us yeah, today yeah. to do it quickly. Sure. So if you give us a week or so notice, we yeah. can do a, a private yeah. viewing. And I must say that uh, everything is all COVID friendly around here. Yeah, no, you'll see the sanitizers yeah. everywhere. Um, if they're, obviously, we're all social distancing yeah. um, and being sensible, but uh, it is a few people here with face masks and sort of yeah, yeah. whole street. But uh, yeah, no, we're, we're very sensible, I think, yeah. to work in Let's have a look at these then. Mm -hmm. So, this is the flowery one, is what you just put in, did you? Yeah, on there? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, it's, a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty little boy, isn't it? Yeah. If you compare body styles and body shapes, this is this is a monster. Yeah, I think the first two that we put in yeah, yeah. are probably the standout koi in the for, yeah, in, for body. In, in, certainly in this particular part, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, there's untold nice yeah. fish in here. Um, 
And then when you, would you be fair to say that when you and I were starting the hobby yoga, you you're further down the game than me. Um, you wouldn't uh, get these sort of koi, this sort of koi for the money the one around. You think? Yeah, the uh, whole level was different. Yeah, it was a different. Yeah, um, it was a different day, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, Japanese koi breeding is, is moving on year on year. Yeah. Um, you would not get this level of koi for, for this money. Yeah. No. That is indeed a pretty sanky. That is indeed a pretty sanky. Keith, Keith. Yeah, that is. Now that's a nice pick, Keith. That's, that's a fish that you could enjoy, see develop. I would have this in front of the chain chain, or have all three. But, I must say, the two kahakus are kind of getting left behind now, aren't they, when you look in the bowl? Yeah, yeah but it's... The, the you first must... kahaku... This one, yeah. I, I don't think that's important. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, do I. Yeah. But it is, it is also, it's, it's quite unfair um, to kind of judge koi. I mean, I mean, koi are going into a bowl to be deselected. Um, and when you get to the end of your deselection, you do then have the koi that, yeah. that, 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 that you like. But it doesn't mean that the others a rubbish. No. It, mean, it means that they're not to your taste. Yeah. Somebody else will come in here and, and drool over yeah. them. Um, I think the best thing to say here is that um, as a as a pond for the fish, um, if I may say, for the right sort of money, I mean, you've been to Japan, I don't think you could buy these in Japan for this money. No. no. Um, you know, uh, well, for me, Keith, a sankey, you, for every decent sankey, you get four kahakus or five kahakus. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And uh, that sankey there, where the sumi placement, as Andy would notice, and, and everything, it, it is a, uh, if that body's up, and there's a lot of ifs and buts, you yeah. can take that to a show in a yeah. year or two, you know? No, the Benny's going to strengthen, the sumi's yeah. going to strengthen. Um, Dan's situation for these fish is ideal. Yeah. Dan's got two growing on tanks. Um, Buying these type of fish is exactly where he wants to be. Yeah. Um, and you know what this type of quality being grown on over the winter, having some fun yeah. without breaking the bank is kind of yeah, surely that's great for everybody. Um, it's only us lunatics that go yeah. further than this. <laughs> no, I do like the sanctuary feet, that's a good a good shot. Yeah, I think you find Dan's um it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to me, the sankey is the fish in the bowl because it is just so hard to get a decent sankey. And I know it's male, but the sumi placement is great. It looks like the sumi's coming up, and um, yeah, it's good fish to learn from. Okay. And equally, the three step. Uh, this one. Well, this one. Um, okay. Well, then you uh, do you need to see any more? I mean, no, I'm quite happy with that. If okay. we could chuck the two out that we're sort of lesser interested in. Yeah, then I suppose, you know, take the photograph. Please. And Just so, so tank know. show back? No, no, keep the tank show. Just tank those show. two, three steps to come out. And so the tank show and the sankey. Tank show and the sankey and the Stage number one. And, and the first car. And the first car. Yeah. There you go. Now, let me get Uncle Andy in the frame. Come over here, Andy. Let's get your voice because we're... Come over a little bit because we're social distancing. So. We're social distancing? Yeah, we are. So, like, like, um, good, like good people, we are. <laughs> so, Andy, like I said, we would have struggled to get fish like this back in the day, wouldn't we, for that sort of money? Um, yeah, no, we would. Yeah. And to be fair, the fish has come on a lot. I mean, not just the barn, I'm talking about, I'm talking about general koi. No, and I agree. So, yeah. You know? Um, they, they, you know, it's, 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 I suppose it's just progress, isn't it, yeah. really? Yeah. Um, I think people starting in the hobby when you can get introduced to fish like this um, I think it's going to keep you in the hobby you yeah, know, you're, yeah. you're not you're not buying um, lower quality koi which purely by their quality are, 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 are going to sort of go backwards rather than forwards um, I think that, that the quality in all these free fish um, as these ones are in the bowl are, are going to improve yeah. um, and don't be surprised if that ain't female. Yeah. Um, and if it is, then then you're really uh, as a you're really as, as we yeah. say, you're on the beach. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So it's uh, coming for everybody from the male selection. And don't exactly. forget, these are sakai breadfish. Yeah. In that way, so.
And if they don't get sold today, they will be sold tomorrow. Yes, guaranteed. Um, all these are Sakai Sansai female. Right. Um, they will be in the shop soon. Uh, it's just we've had so many fish coming late in the year, as yeah. I said earlier. Um, they've, they've stayed up here, but they're pretty happy. They, they like it, and you can see the quality is a uh, is sublime. So yeah, um, yeah let's have a look. A couple in a bowl. There's what there's a three step that Andy likes. We're all interested in what Andy likes. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the one on. Oh, a little bit of a man. You might, you might the brother out. It's a bit of koi water, koi juice. So I'm stretching here, full stretch. Yep. Let's pull let's pull the ball over because I'm on the ladder. There you go. Let, let the viewers see it and then we'll get Andy's thoughts on it. Yeah. Sakai Sansai, Keith, yeah? Yeah, Sakai Sansai. Do you um, so these these people could buy this and take it away this week? They could, yeah, always yeah. ready to go. Unless it goes to oh. somebody's pond today. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're committed elsewhere at the moment. Uh, in here, I might say, but, uh, yeah. there's three pieces in here that are not my name on. Andy, talk, talk us over this koi. Come over. Come over and let's, let's talk to viewers. Everybody, tell us about this koi we're looking at in the bowl. Um, we know we don't trust dealers, so we want to, we want to hear a hobbyist to hobbyist. Uh, well, <laughs> if, if you do this producing or, or selling stuff like this, I believe you can trust him. Right. Um, the fish itself is kind of pretty self-explanatory. Um, lovely lead and head pattern, nicely placed three step, friendly quality is excellent, body shapes great. Um, what's not to like about the core? Um, I think that would be um, kind of my my attitude towards the fish. Um, sometimes you'll put other koi against koi because you wish to deselect or or you you wish to kind of get the Kind the of best one in the bowl, etc. This old baby stands out. This is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, and if, if if like me, you're in the show scene. This is all right. Well, it's got. I don't know if the camera is good at picking it up. It's 4K, so it should do. But the luster and the shine on it is very nice. Yeah, and, and for a for a small fish, the um, yeah. yeah, the fakuri is starting to come. Yeah. It's um, you know, it's <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty damn good if you ask me. Yeah, very nice. Um, yeah, and. You know, um, priced accordingly. Some fish are, dare I say it, sound like a koi dealer, which I ain't, they're almost reassuringly expensive. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm going to get a Saturday job of it. <laughs> um, and this would be one of them, yeah, I really like it. Yeah, yeah nice koi. What do you think? I don't know if Andy has seen this, but maybe get some water out of it. That's nice. Oh, I just saw it. Um, yeah, a bit more water. You just have enough just to have the dorsal wet. That's fine. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Yeah. Sakai again. These are all female, right, Keith? All 100% female. female. Yeah. This is the one I had in bowl, Keith, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Andy had this in the bowl before. Yeah, very nice. See the body on this thing for me. I, I look at the body first, and the body on this thing is just look at the size of the mouth, the head. Yeah, I mean the actual body frame is not as big as the two others that have been in the bowl, but um, that doesn't really mean anything once you get it into your. And pond, you start feeding the thing. Yeah, they'll grow on. Look at the size of the head. The paddle on it's massive as well. Yeah, it's uh, it's got all the attributes for for a damn fine fish. Really awesome. Clean as a whistle. Good fish. Very good fish. What sort of size is this, Keith? And I guess it. Oh, yes. I'll be back. Six. What's that then? 58, something like that? I would say a little bit bigger. I'd say bigger, yeah. Okay. 
early, early 60s, mid 60s. Yeah, I'm only thinking it's a 70, well I'm presuming the bowl is 70 CM. Uh, maybe the bowl's not. Yeah, this looks a bigger fish. Yeah, I'm sure so you, yeah. I think. 768. Yeah, I thought, yeah. yeah what do I know? Oh, okay. 68. You are, you are ready to blow it, isn't it? You see, the, the keyword is nice and it cuts across. And Mate, mm. just buy the fish. Gorgeous. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that at all. How big is this bowl? It must be an 80 cm bowl. Yeah, that's where I'm going. So the public haven't really seen these? No, and that's the thing. That's, um, because this um, is normally out of bounds because yeah. of quarantine and, it, and it's not a salesman. Mm -hmm. It's only been because of COVID and lockdown that this is, we've now been able to use this as a, as a showroom. Um, and obviously you need to make an appointment. You can't just walk in here. You have to be escorted up here. So yeah, these fish are, are, are not really been seen. They are on our website. You can yeah. see them on Facebook. But, uh, yeah, ring, ring me, yeah. email, me, email me and, um, and come down as hopefully you can see. We've got some stunning mm. fish here and uh, all with 25% off and uh, yeah, and always up for a deal. And um, yeah, should be, should be considered. So this is a, a fish we're balling at, uh, is one of Keith's. This is a Keith fish. Yeah. Keith fish. Yeah. So, hold on to your hat. <laughs> so I think this is uh, well worth consideration. Have you seen this fish, Anne? Before? No. No. It took some water out. So this here is Sansai game. Oh, hold on. Have I you have. You saw it. Yeah, 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 yes, I have. Yeah. I've just seen the Edmark. The red yeah. eye. Yeah. yeah. So and Sansai. Yeah, yeah, I liked this when I, when I was here last. Yeah. The red eye doesn't bother me, but so many people... Don't bother me either. ...won't look at it because of the red eye, but the, yeah. the frame, the body on this... Well, why would they not look at a red eye? Because of the show scene, or just because they don't like a red eye on a fish? Okay. Well, they being correct. And... But in, does the judges in the UK dismiss a red eye fish if it looks like no, it and everything don't. else? No, they Is that just a myth, Andy? No, they wouldn't. No. They wouldn't dismiss it, it no way. Yeah. It, it wouldn't bother them. Um, you'd have to get real finicky. So um, yeah, to have a judge dismiss a koi because of a red eye, um, not that you question koi judges. No, we don't. We, ne we never do that. But no. it would be questionable. Yeah. The food grain is coming up on this as well. Yeah. Sansai. It's a lot bigger Much fish bigger than the last one. Yeah. yeah. What's your thoughts on this, Andy? I believe that as it's got a red eye. Um, and that is a serious demerit. I, <laughs> I should only pay £2,500 for it. And if Keith was to agree with that, you can have that on camera. <laughs> I don't think, looking at Keith over here, I don't think he's going to agree with that whatsoever. Lovely, isn't it? Is. These all come with certificate, the parents and... No. I, I haven't got certificates, I've got, okay. uh, I've got all the parent details, right. and I've got uh, sizing details, etc. But no, we didn't get certificates. You're a beautiful girl, ain't you? Yeah, I mean, all joking aside, um, the red eye shouldn't even be in the, you know, the topic of discussion, if I'm honest. Um, but as Keith says, it, there will be lots of people that, that won't like it on the strength of it. But um, if you can get beyond that, you have a koi with a real future. Nice, yeah. The nice thing this Just is. Just watch her, she looks like she wants to jump yeah. through. Yeah, the, yeah, no, I've got three back. Yeah. Yeah. Happy days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Keith's head is gone ready now. <laughs> some, some things are worth off camera if you want. Um, so, uh, Another of my favourites. This is one yeah, of the favourites. Yeah, this looks very nice. A little bit more water. There you go. Yeah, once it covers, yeah, that's perfect. Huh? Look at the amount of water. Yeah, just stop it down. Yeah. I expect a little gap there to fill in. Hopefully, we can get back the camera out. Yeah.
Yonsei? No, Sansai. Sansai. Well, they'd be, be going in with Sansai in October, so they'll now be going into in. Yonsei. Okay. Yeah, they have got the Sansai in the Yonsei. Yeah. 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 It's all about if, if, if the pattern rocks your boat. Nice potential, nice body shape for a big fish. Yeah, lovely. Five. Okay, and these are on sex from ESA. Yeah. Obviously, at the moment, until the end of the year, there is 25% off. All the okay. prices on safety are free with discounts. So. Yeah, okay. So these are just a few that Keith has netted for the thing to look at. So there's one there. But these sort of things, Dylan, is yeah. what you learn, how you learn koi. So you learn what to buy and what not to buy, yeah. and how it develops. It's part of the koi hobby that we've all been in. Andy would have been, Andy would have been at this bowl, how long ago, Andy, probably when you first started the hobby? Andy would have been looking at fish like this. I said this sort of fish, I'm saying to Dylan and young Dan, is where we all started, really, buying fish in the early days. Yeah, but when they're good quality, they're good for everybody, isn't yeah. they? Yeah. But these are budget sort of, uh, I would say, in that way. Because they are, what did it work out after the discount? So, uh, you'll be looking at 595. Right, so 600 quid for them, roughly. Mr. Baker, good so far. Good morning at the barn. Yeah, no. It's nice to be down in God's country, Kent, isn't it? We're, we're enjoying ourselves, yeah. Yeah, good yeah. fun. So Keith's kindly going to give away three of these fish, Andy. It's very the, good of him, isn't it? Yeah, to the roster members, and uh, so these are going to be selected by myself and Andy, the two Andys. So Keith, do you want to tell everybody what the competition is if they want to win a free Momentaro? Yeah. Cool, okay. So in this pond here, we have a selection of Momotaro toast sign. Yeah. Uh, these came in in May. I'm currently doing these at a price of 195 each. Um, really nice shower, really good potential, bit of fun, throw something on. So trying to get people more involved to do a bit of a competition for you. Okay. Uh, the competition will be is, you have to guess, so the winner will be the, whoever is on the nose or closest, how many koi are in the pond? How many koi are in the pond? Right, so, but we've knocked the air off, so I don't know if anybody can see it, but how many koi are in the pond? And then um, if you could guess the closest amount of number in there, and you could win a koi selected by the great and famous Chip. Andy Baker. <laughs> uh, All right. I need to be a big fish. <laughs> Well, they'll start small. Yeah, no, <laughs> you selected some koi that has turned out brilliantly, so don't underplay yourself. No, no, no. You are a batsman of the highest class, like Mr. Lara. <laughs> you know who Brian Lara is, don't you? Of course I do. Yeah. Where is he from again? He's a West Indian. Well, yeah, but what, from what island? He ain't going to tell me he's a Trinidad. No, well, yes, he I is a from Trinidad and Tobago. He is a Trini man. Yeah, well, how did he get 300 <laughs> runs plus if he's a Trini? He is a Trini. He got more than that. He got 505 against... Warwickshire or something? What, in one innings? One innings. Yeah. The brother could bat. Yeah, he could. All right, so let's pick some, man. Let's get some in a net, because I don't think we can see them down here. Get a net and full. Get a net full, and then we can pick them out for the competition. There's a lot of coin here. I can't say the number I think there is, but... It's nice, Keith. Thank you, Keith, for doing this, giving away some fish. It's a shame his prices on the other ones ain't coming down, is it? <laughs> there we go. Here we have a net for Yeah. Here. Do you want me to lower the... Let's, let's get them in here. Do you want them in the bowl or do you want to just select them? We'll select them from the net and then put them in the bowl. If there's any in here, Anne, you have the first pick for the members of the raster group, if they get it right. If you have a little pan net or you can grab it with your hands and pop it in there. There you go, Andy, there's a little pan net there. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Oh, I see one in there that I could possibly think may be a choice. Oh, little kindle might be worth a go. Okay, so there's Andy selected one.
There you go. So that's Mr. Baker's choice. If you get it right, you can get one like that. Um, let's get another scoop, Neat. Keith, uh, Keith, I think the one with the... Ah, mate. Yeah, how come you get another scoop? Well, because the one I liked swam out when he was helping you. Yeah, no, you can hold it right there. So this is one... That's a better scoop. So do you want to put yours back then? Is that what you're oh, saying? Let's have a look first. Let's have a look first, okay. okay. Okay, Keith, I see one I could... Um, okay. Yeah. This one, actually. That one? Yeah. There you go. So that's my choice. If you win, you get something like that. Do you know what? Someone's going to ask me why I picked that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you have a second choice, second chance. Well, no, let's have a little look. Okay, have a look in the have a look in the, in the pan, net. It does look a little bit weak on the sides there. But yeah, it looks look, a little bit weak everywhere. But these are quality coins. Yeah. You know, you don't know what will happen in a year, don't you? No. Oh, well, yeah, you do. See that one, Keith? Okay. Yeah, nice, the one with the black text, that's it. Right, we'll swap that for that other kind of thing. Oh, that's better, and That is much better. Much better, right. So we're playing again, we're batting again. Yeah, you, you're on the last one, Chip, go on. Okay, so I'm on the last one. That's the first one I picked to ever win. Andy's picked this one. That's a nice pick, Andy. Very well, well done, well done. Keith, why don't you pick one then? I was just going to suggest that, yeah. so... Oh, we've got the dealer working on, look at him, sweating. Yeah. He's got his dealers in him. He'll probably get that kind of. <laughs> That's the one I was thinking. That heavy silvery one there, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. More on that road, that's Keith. That's the one I was thinking. There you go, free nice coin. We need free to, nice coin that you could we, win. Yeah, we need to take a free. photograph of it. And uh, I'll get a little video of that one. Hmm? Yeah. This is a momentary. Uh, what do they call this Aka Nisai now, Pete? Am I right? You're saying that they're still Tosai or what would you call this? That's a young Nisai. Young Nisai. Young Nisai. Yeah. A novice's coin, but that will sell straight away. Oh, there's a baby champ, man. There's a baby champ in there. If you could come up keep it on ice. Oh, there you go, Dale. Look at catch him in the slips. People have great fun when they release. Yeah, and as said, people just haven't seen this, so um yeah. oh, mate, yeah, nice pen. Yeah. That's the first one we popped in. Mm. A nice lateral liner. Mm. There was a really flowery one here, I'll see in a minute. Yeah, these are the eight and nine five. These seven, range from seven nine five up to one four nine five. Okay. That's less than 25%. Yeah. What are you thinking, Andy? You're studying like an exam? Oh, I'm thinking about a deal I'm putting your cake right on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get Keith head a little bit more yeah, man, blood red. Uh, this is lovely, isn't it? Yes, that's the Andy Baker for me. Yeah. Nice little fish. Yeah. Nice semi placement. Put it away, see what happens. If Put nothing works away. out, nothing works out. Pick it up in two years' time, what are you yeah. doing? We like work, you don't we, Andy? Oh, this one, that's a, that's a, yeah, it's sort of fish. Is that more your expensive end fish or that's still the same? Uh, what, the last one I put in? Yeah. Uh, that's cheaper, 895. Mm -hmm. I'm 
concepts. All of these are set. Yeah, very nice, aren't they? Um, if I had to take one out of the bowl, that's what they want to know. Then, do you know what? Only for the sumi placement, I'll take the sake. Take sake. the sake. Yeah. Yeah. And they're more Mataro, which you and I have been yeah, there and, yeah, and yeah, they're all I don't think we purchased, did we? Or we tried to or it didn't happen? Um, you no, were on something, no, you on no, no, we didn't, Yeah, I was on a game in car for until time of the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Until we heard the price. Yeah, yeah. We thought it was 200,000 yen, it was 2.5 million. <laughs> and then Andy said, okay, uh, okay yes. yeah, we'll leave that one. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the one you just put it? Oh, uh, this oh. one, the show one. And that's another nice comparison to make for, for, for people buying small fish. Is the difference between the young show and the young sanky there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you can see the the motor guru in the pecs. Yeah. You can see the pattern leading down the head. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what you don't want in in the sanky. In the sanky. Yeah. That's a good call, Andy. Oh, bit of bling. Is this one that young Dan likes? No, I, I oh. thought he was getting a show. Uh, there you go, you, you see you wanted yeah. a moment out of Ginrin, here's one. Yeah, he, he, and this <laughs> one isn't 2.5 million. Yeah. Boy, I don't know, you haven't asked the man yet. It yeah. might be, you might have just upped his price. Because you caned him on the other ones, you might yeah. say. He's rich as the shreds, we're bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a nice bottle of fish, isn't it? Oh, Andy, we just spent the morning just looking at some quarantine fish out of the barn here, and we've seen some stunning fish, didn't we? Yeah, there's some lovely fish in there, yeah. And, yeah. Um, I mean, to see these fish, you and I know, um, you know, people don't really know that. I mean, we always make, um, we sort of came the dealers, as it were, but in good fun. But it, it is a lot of cost in keeping fish, and if fish yeah. goes wrong for us, it goes wrong for them too. And, um, you yeah. know. And there's lots of advantage about buying from dealers in the UK, isn't there? Yeah. Um, you and I have, have bought in Japan, um, you and I have bought in the UK. Buying, certainly in the current climate with Covid etc, fish that are already landed now, um, all the fish that are coming into our dealers, um, you're not paying um, sort of the travel expenses and etc. Now, you know, to ship a box of, of koi over, it's probably 50-60% you know, more now than it was pre-Covid. Um, so there's there's savings to be made for from, from buying from dealers that have had fish in for nine months, a year or whatever. Um, and I don't mind buying koi that have been here for a while in, in UK water. Um, are they throwing shimmies up? It, you know, it, is, is the fish um, going almost backwards because it's in a different water. Mm. Buying a fish that's been in the UK for a while, it's, you know, it's safe, isn't it? You know, you, you, you're kind of in front of the game um, because we've all bought fish in Japan and they've come back and are they always the same that you saw out there? You know, sometimes no. Well, they could get uh, damaged in transit. Yeah, exactly. And, and, yeah. You know, I've had that. You've had it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. And then you have to set back. So there is a lot of merit in buying a fish that's already here. You just drive up to the barn, yeah. like keep, keep you, you know, your fish are here. Yeah. People could drive up, book an appointment with you. Yeah, can book an appointment. Any fish they saw in the video, they could come and buy, book the time. Oh, yeah. They're all on the website. I keep stressing. We've had a new website done this year. It's, yeah. it's evolving still, but. Uh, yeah, all of the fish are on there. Mm. So make a day of it. Grab yourself a bacon roll or something. Mm. Come over here, have a coffee, and um, spend the morning looking at some great fish. Yeah. Okay. Tell us about that trophy, Keith. Okay, um, this is the All Japan Kai Show Grand Champion Trophy from 2006, um, um, where Kai Waterfowl supplied the, the winning fish. Um, got this by, by um, a bit of coincidence, really. Uh, when we were building this in 2019, um, February, exactly the same time as the Japan Koi Show was on, we got a random phone call one mm -hmm. night from a, a customer who had uh, recently moved into a property and um, upon investigating their new house, they found this trophy in the lot and uh, managed to associate it to um, the, the two gentlemen that bought the wedding fish. 
and then managed to trace it back to us. So they very kindly allowed us to pick it up, and now it takes now quite a price in our, in our main pond room. So tell us what we're going to be looking at in this pond. This is this is one of your main ponds in the shop, right? Yeah, the three main, main viewing yeah. ponds. This is the main pond. This is uh, just over five and a half thousand gallons. Yeah. Uh, in here we have Nice side, yep. sand side, yon yep. side, um, sand pipe, yep. all female, um, all okay. sand pipe. Uh, yeah, the only other fish we have in here are for Marisay, which yep. are large single coloured koi, right. Suri, the Beko, um, again, but all, all female. <laughs> so, um, got some very good deals in here. I'll we'll bowl a few up and I'll, I'll yeah. shout out a few prices. Yeah, that's but, um, good. Yeah, some, some cracking okay. koi. I like first, but then I like this. Thank you. I'm probably going to end up walking that way. Yeah, 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 okay. Let's so. back off of it. Let's back off of it there. Move, move down, Jim. It would be a great moment if you fall in, Keith. So. It would. It might, you might get your 50,000 views. Well, the magic way of is a rabbit for doing. Yes, there is. There's a laid back space there. There's no new photos. That's them. Do you take them when you my drug is coy. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Not smelling like that. Eh? <laughs> no. So this is a fish that's for sale, right? It's not this a is for sale. Okay. Um, Nisai, just going into sand. Um, sorry, these range from 2,400 to 3,000. Uh, any of these, 1,500 quid delivered. 1,500 quid delivered? Yeah. Female sake. Yeah. I think you had this on the. Uh, you posted this recently. I did, yeah, yeah. and um, it's been in the bowl so many times, and um, I don't understand why it's still here. Fifteen hundred quid. Andy, what? What would you say about that? Fifteen hundred quid. It's not as good as the other two. Yes, but it's fifteen hundred quid. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's because I've got two tankers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a lovely fish, isn't it? Come on. Um, Nice bit of shoulder to me there. Um, yeah, what's not lot to, what's not to like about it? About um, sakai koi, of course, is that they grow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a load of koi for the money. You probably ain't going to get that koi for that money anywhere else in the UK. And that's 50 and I'm not I'm not saying that because I'm here. I'm saying it because I fancy it ain't far from the truth. Yeah. So. Yeah. Nice koi. Nice koi. Right, cool. Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Sakai Silver Fox. Really, really hard to get hold of. In demand koi. Again, this is in my Nice side racket. So, as I said, all Nice side, £1,500 delivered. Come on, Andy. This is Sakai Nice side game. Probably one of the bigger, biggest of the Nice side. Was that 62 or something like that? Yeah, I haven't measured this, but yeah. you know, it's got to be getting that way. Yeah. Nice and clean, isn't it? Great quality. It is clean. What, what, what would you say, nice. Andy, about that in a show? Is it not ready for a show, somebody who's looking? This needs a few years, obviously it needs to body up, and, but like sumi placement, would you hope for more sumi, or are you happy with that there? What would you say? Well, sink is about sumi, isn't it? Yeah. So the first thing you've got to say is it's got good sumi. Right. Um, is, is it ideally placed? Well, that's for the judge. Mm. I think... I think it's I think it's going to be a very big fish, um, but I think it's also a fish that you either love mm. or you maybe don't love. Yeah. Um, it's a yeah, it, it, yeah it's, a, it's a cracking fish. A very good friend of mine has got his eye on it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah, I I like it. So is this another same as the others that you've Yeah, yeah again, this is 2995, but because it's now getting into October and we've still got a lot of fish, yeah. I mean, 1,500 pound delivered. Yeah, there are things about the koi which, which people would, would question. Yeah, it's um, but, but, yeah and they, those are obvious to see. Yeah. Um, but, do you know what? It's a nice koi, isn't it? Yeah. Tank is about two million. And uh, if you have that, then what you have there is two million. It looks, it looks like the camera may not pick it up, but on the back end, the tail stop, there's so many on both sides of it, yeah. about to break through, and that's what we can see. Um, yeah, and if, if that comes and 
in, 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 a, in a nice blodge or two, then that would really finish the call off, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. So is this Nisai going into Sansai? No, this would be Sansai going into Yonsai. Sansai going into Yonsai. I'm guessing 68... Yeah, 68, 70. 68, 70 centimetres. Well, the, the, the white is very nice. Yeah. yeah. White ground is good, that's where we start. Well, let's start on the body shape. Right, the body shape. Yeah. Big fish to grow big, Andy? When you say big, you know? It yeah. will be, yeah. Um, and the Betty style quality is nice, but mm -hmm. um, probably what holds this back from being decent money, without me being offensive, is the pattern. Is the pattern, okay. Is, is where the pattern sort of falls short. Now I'm sure they'll be koi koi On the right side. Out. Yeah. They'll be koi koi out there saying, paying far too much attention to the pattern. And, and I must admit, I, I'm normally one of them, but that really is a little too, too, um, too short. Um, mm -hmm. But it's a very nice koi. Keith is probably going to tell me that it's Sakai's best shipment this year, blah, 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 and it's a fortune. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice koi. And your so are my feelings are, it depends on money. But it doesn't depend on money. Money shouldn't come into it. Money you're, 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 you're being asked to appraise the fish. Yeah. Appraise the fish. <laughs> so if I'm appraising this fish, right, um, would I buy a fish like this? The body I like. I must say I like the body. Mm -hmm. I like the skin. Mm -hmm. And it just comes down to the final sort of pattern. My feeling is when a fish like this hits 85 centimeters, if it does ever get there, 80, 85, I think it will. I think this sort of pattern will come into its own. I don't think it would matter so much. I think yeah, once it gets it's really big, yeah, it fair, wouldn't matter so much. It's fair comment. Yeah, and um, I think I can see what you're saying about the right side, but I would say you got to. This is one like your sanki. You got to put away and let it get big and yeah. see what will happen. Um, the, but the Benny is probably a little bit too hard for me, unless that's the the way it was raised or the parent. Um, I like a soft Benny, like the one we had in earlier. I'm more of a soft than he, of course, because I run skinny water, you know. Yeah, you know, maybe, so. it, yeah. So who's the breeder on this one, Keith? This them? is a Marise three-year-old female Achiba. Achiba, yeah. And the bubble is then gone. Yeah. Throw Pro some rum in there. Priced at um, two nine nine five, a special offer price of 2000 I would say that's, what, 50-odd? 58. 58, yeah. yeah. And at the moment, Achiever are very in vogue. Yes. A koi which everybody wants. And Andy was telling us, what does Achiever mean, Andy? Achiever is autumn leaves on the water. There you go. And you can see that in this side. Yonsai going into it. Yeah, Yonsai going to go Sai, Sakai, mid to high 70s, female. Different Benny type to the one that we had in the big one we had in earlier. Again, interesting because it got it, the pattern rub, wraps the body on there. What are you thinking, Mr. Baker? Yeah, it's a nice coin. Mm. Nice and straightforward. Um, Not much to change except putting body on, really, isn't it, really? Yeah. The really, size. Yeah, just feed it and throw it. Yeah. Simple as that. Um, nice. Mm. <laughs> and, and this is what, okay, three grand something like three and a half? <laughs> Are you on the weed? <laughs> <laughs> you can only try, bro. You can only try. <laughs> yeah, Keith, Keith looks like he's going to drown himself. Folks, <laughs> it's five grand all day long. <laughs> what sort of money is that, Keith? Again, yeah, yeah, the price is on the website. On oh, the website, yeah. You, yeah. You, so we're talking five grand. Really, yeah. Being a sort of full part. Full part. I know some people will say it sounds ridiculous, but well, how it's many? actually good value for money. Okay, yeah. let, let me ask you this question, and this is serious. How many two grand koi have you bought that didn't work out, or 1,500 quid fish didn't work out? Yeah, probably too many. Yeah, so would you think long term something I guess is a better, more sensible way of using their money? Yes, but of course, 
if you're a working class guy, how easy is it to, to come, come up, up with, with five thousand quid? If you're um, if you're strict enough in your pocket to say save it, save it, save it, save it, yeah. By the time you get the five grand, the daughter needs a car <laughs> or something like this. Yeah. Well, you get your water bill. Yeah. Like I did. Or the wife finds your money. <laughs> What's that stashed away there? Dylan, what do you think of your right. Uncle Andy? Huh? What do you think of Andy? He's, cr He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say Dylan remind you of? Let, let's get this on camera. What do you say Dylan remind you of? The magic man of it. <laughs> the he, rub. He's, he's a laid back brother. Let <laughs> me do that again about Andy talking about his stash. Oh, sorry. So this is not sold, this is uh... Not sold, this is Sakai. It's not sold? Not sold. Okay. Yonsai. Yeah. Only been in the main pond for about three weeks. So only recently oh, so it came from the top? Yeah. yeah. This is bigger, 74? Yeah, 74, 75. Yeah. And fifteen hundred pound delivery? Not. <laughs> That's why I thought. I thought this ain't going to be no, delivered. It's going um, in the back of the car. If anybody's interested in this, um, the price is on the website, but we, it can be negotiable. So please, uh, please call. Seriously. Coming to the end of the day, Andy and Andy. And uh, so we look at some red fish. We are social distancing. Social right distancing, of course. Yeah. So uh, we're just going to put. Keith has been kind to us, showed us a good day, didn't he? Yeah. And um, we look at some red fish, some cracking fish. Yeah, that's some good value down here. Big, big should come down. Don't tell Keith anything. But we'll put 20 of these in the back of the car when he's not looking.